Hello, and I'm Nick from the nosygenealogist.com. In this video, which is part of the series of How to Get Back Before 1837 in English and Welsh Family History, I want to look at how can I find parish records um, online. Now, in most cases, probably 99% of the time, you're going to find that the parish records for your ancestor's parish will have been deposited in the local county record office for the area. It's true a, a few, a rare few, are, are still going to be with the incumbent of the church. So, where should we look first online? So my suggestion is to head on over to the website of the National Archives that's www.nationalarchives.gov.uk Now once you're on this website uh, on the home page we are looking for Archon A R C H O N. It's uh, basically a list of archives now I'm going to search using the tab called Records. That takes us on to the page called Records and along here Catalogues and Online Records. Let's click on that. And then scrolling down on the right hand side Archive Contact Details Archon and click and that brings us to the Archon directory. Now just before we start using this I'd just like to show you that if the National Archives have changed their website by the time that you are looking at this uh, video then my suggestion is to scroll down to the bottom and here you'll see site help and an A to Z index which if you click on there will bring you to this page and then we are looking for archive contact details archon and click. So that brings us back to this website page in the National Archives called the Archon Directory. It's basically a list of archives. It uh, gives us all sorts of record offices including diocesan, uh, social history archives and general genealogical archives. Uh, now if we were looking for the Devon um, County Record Office we would choose the Southwest and by clicking on that you then get a list of these various archives which uh, have some sort of um, connection with the southwest of England. Now I'm going to close down to D and here we have the Devon Record Office and by clicking on that we get the information uh, about the Devon County Record Office, its contact details, telephone and fax, an email and a link to their own website and an online street map. Now the Archon directory for the Devon Record Office does give us a lot of information, for example the opening times, uh, the whether it's a member of the Khan scheme wheelchair access and so on but I would caution you against um, accepting this as gospel because obviously things change and the most up-to-date uh, information is going to be on their own website so that is why I would suggest that you click on the uh, County Record Office's website and be taken out of the National Archives and over to the website for the particular record office. Now that gives you 
the information about the record office. It, it shows you a picture of what it looks like so that uh, when you get there you, you're not surprised or um, in my case when I went to the Exeter Devon record office um, discovered it was um, on uh, basically an industrial estate and uh, didn't know what I was looking for until um, I eventually spotted the signs um, but I was still very uncertain that I was in the right place uh, and of course eventually I followed the sign into a car park and there was this building now the useful thing here is uh, as we can see it's updating new parking arrangements you'll find that most county record offices um, have a very similar uh, type of website where you'll get their contact details um, a way of emailing them um, very often how to get there so let's click on visiting us it gives you the um, the opening hours so um, these are the up-to-date opening hours they're open Monday to Friday between 10 a.m. and 6 p.m. and on the following Saturdays in 2011 between 9.30 and 12.30 as you can see you can see if um, one of those Saturdays is uh, is going to be one that you can actually make it along to and um, if there were any late night openings um, that would be uh, here on the uh, opening hours page of the county record office um, there is details of how to travel to the uh, county record office and uh, such as here for travelling to Exeter from outlying towns and villages travelling to Exeter by train so your own county record office it would hopefully give you information similar to this um, and uh, they have a location map most of the record offices will provide you with the same sort of uh, facility in this case it's a downloadable PDF so once you've um, downloaded it onto your uh, computer you could print that off very very useful if um, you're not sure of the area that you're going to other sorts of information you should be able to glean from a county record office uh, website is um, whether it's part of the uh, Khan system whereby uh, you get a card which entitles you to enter um, many of the county record offices within the uh, uh, United Kingdom and um, in this case uh, we also see that it holds the ecclesiastical records of the Diocese of Exeter and administers the Exeter Cathedral Dean and Chapter Archives in the Cloister Library so if you were looking for the diocesan record office um, for the Diocese of Exeter um, it isn't separate it's here within the County Record Office of uh, Devon County Council now um, in the case of uh, Devon I don't believe you have to to book in advance a um, to go to the record office um, however some county record offices will require you to do that and um, in fact within the county of Devon there is a separate archives uh, the Plymouth City Council runs the Plymouth and West Devon record office and in their particular case if we go to visiting us you'll see the um, opening times and that they do require you to book a booking system operates for users of the record office bookings can be made up to one month in advance and you can book either a table space or to use the microfiche and microfilm during each day so if you were making a long journey to visit the Plymouth uh, record office and in your case it may be one of the other county record offices and you get there and then find that you can't use the microfiche or microfilm because you haven't booked then 
that's a waste of time, is it not? So it's well worth researching all this information on the websites of the uh, county record office that you're intending to travel to. Uh, it should also tell you things such as uh, what type of ID they require and it tells us here that new users of the record office will need to register and provide proof of identity which includes your name and address and examples of acceptable forms of identification include driving licenses, utility bills and the CARN, the County Archives Research Network ticket. Um, also you must note that no pens are allowed in the record office and Devon indeed also accepts the Khan ticket. Uh, you should either bring these uh, IDs with you. On your first visit you'll need to complete a registration form. If looking at original documents provide proof of identity. As you can see they have quite a long list. It's a more comprehensive list than the one we've just looked at at Plymouth. Now some of these websites are going to have their catalogues online and in the case of Devon there is a link to the Devon Record Office and you're able to search the online catalogue. catalogue includes descriptions of the archival holdings of the Devon Record Office and North Devon Record Office. Content is being added on a regular basis but it will be some time before complete coverage is achieved. In the meantime access to archives A to A can also be used to access information about the collections. Okay so now for example I would like to use the search to find whether it carries whether the county record office here carries the documents that I want to look at because I shall be traveling from quite a long way and I'd rather like to have all the uh, call uh, numbers um, ready so to speed up my visit on the day so um, I'm going to enter in here the um, the town is Dartmouth and uh, the parish in question is St. Saviour's. I'm going to quickly search and Dartmouth St. Saviour's Parish reference number 2992A. This looks interesting. If I click on that it then tells me that it's in the Devon Record Office, that is uh, the one in Exeter. Now what is within 2992A? Ah, excellent. I've got the Overseers of the Poor. Financial Records. Rates and Valuations. Poor Rate. But say I was interested in um, the parish registers. I'd look in registration, yes, parish registers, papers re registration. But let's have a look in the parish registers. And fantastic, I get to see that um, all of these baptisms, marriages, and, and bands and burials are here. Um, held in the uh, Devon Record Office in Exeter. And there's the uh, reference numbers. So maybe I need to uh, to decide on the uh, exact date that I'm looking for. In this case here are the burials for 1813 to 1853 and it's open access and I can take a note of the reference here so that um, 
immediately that I get to Exeter and the Devon Record Office I know exactly what I am going to look for. Save me a lot of time. OK, that's the end of the first video. We shall be back with some more here from the Nosy Genealogist. Thank you for watching.